Fluorescent lights are ubiquitous. They're used to light up signs in restaurants, offices, homes. They are almost everywhere. In this video, we'll explain how they work. The fluorescent tube came about thanks to American electrical engineer and inventor Peter Cooper Hewitt's research into the work of physicists Julius Plucker and Heinrich Jaesler, who was a glassblower. In 1901, when Hewitt passed an electric current through tiny amounts of mercury in one of Plucker's glass tubes, it lit up, making it the very first fluorescent tube to use mercury. These lamps work in much the same way today, with a few modifications, of course. There are four main components to a fluorescent light. The first is an electrode. There is also a very small amount of mercury vapor and an inert Nobel gas swirling around inside the tube. And lastly, there is a phosphor coating on the outside. An important piece of the fluorescent puzzle to note is that the inside of the tube is kept well below atmospheric pressure, usually around 0.3% of atmospheric pressure. This ensures that the mercury remains as a vapor. Electricity first enters the light fixture, like a troffer, and through a ballast. The ballast, which regulates voltage, current, etc. and is necessary for a fluorescent bulb to light. The ballast feeds the electricity into the pins of the fluorescent bulb on both ends. Then, after the electricity enters through the pins, it flows to the electrodes inside the sealed glass tube, which is kept under low pressure. Electrons begin traveling across the tube, from one cathode to the other. Inside of the glass tube are inert gases and mercury which are excited by the electrical current. The mercury vaporizes as electricity flows. This leads to the excitation of electrons and the subsequent electron relaxation to produce an invisible UV light that we actually cannot see with our naked eye. This UV light is then absorbed by the phosphor coating which leads to excitation of more electrons where upon relaxing they finally emit visible light. And this is what we see. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new in this video don't forget to like and subscribe.